What's going on guys, Raymond here. So I was working on the video you guys are about to watch and I realized I was scrolling through my YouTube channel and then I noticed that this video that you're watching right now is number 100 on my library of videos. And like I said, I just noticed it. Didn't catch that in the beginning because well, I'm, I'm an idiot. Noticed this last minute so what I'm going to try to do for you guys in celebration of number 100 for Booze and Chills video, first person to comment in the comment section, I will send you a free Booze and Chill t-shirt. Maybe I could have done something a little bit bigger, but again, I'm a fucking idiot. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do that for you guys. And in celebration of number 100 video in the Booze and Chill channel. But that's it for now guys, let's go ahead and get right into this. What is happening guys and welcome back to another episode of Booze and Chill. And in today's episode we're going to be talking about something more of the lines of sourness. And that particular sour that we're going to be talking about today is the peanut butter and jelly squeeze. So if you just please squeeze me and we can start with the theme song shall we. Alright guys, like I mentioned, today we're going to be talking about some sour style beer, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich flavoring type of sour, if you can believe that shit. Oh how beer has evolved over these years, has it not? We're just able to squeeze so many different flavors into this beers now, it's fucking crazy. But enough of that guys, let's go ahead and start off this review by doing the pouring. Before we move on guys, I want to apologize for the lighting. I did forget to turn on one of my lights, but hey, that happens, right? Moving on, as you can see, we poured it and look at that, bro. It looks exactly what it's uh, named after, peanut butter and jelly. It looks like concentrated liquefied jelly in there. That's what it is. What would, what would this be, jam or um, what's the other one called? I can't remember what it's called. Leave it in the comments. Remind me guys, I have a horrible memory. But as you can see, this is definitely what draft beer looks like. Not your average looking beers. They always have these very different consistencies and colors and textures. This one is by far like the most interesting looking one, I think so. So what do you say we get right down to the first part of these reviews and that is the smellin. Cheers to that smell, guys. I'm not just saying this because it's on the can, but you literally do smell a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I do pick up that uh, sourness. This is a sour style of beer, so that's the first thing that I pick up. You do pick up that strawberry, grapey type of jam smell, but like the sour type, because not all fruits always come out sweet. And then you also pick up that nutty peanut buttery smell as well. And again, I don't know if it's because it's on the can, but I do pick up that wheat bread smell, like that untoasted bread smell. That's what I get off of that. So, so far, the looks, very cool looking. It's dark, it's purple, dude. It's fucking purple. And the smells, like I mentioned, the untoasted bread, the peanut butter on the bread, and the sour jelly smell. Everything that is described on the can is literally what I'm smelling off of this very unique jelly purple looking drink. So I'd say now that we've done the smelling, let's move on to the best part of these review videos and that is the tasting. Cheers. 
Cheers to an adult peanut butter and jelly sandwich beverage. Cheers, guys. Wow. I got a little tear off of that one. It's not a bad tear, it's just the fact that it's a sour beer. And then the fact that it's got like that, that very sour fruit tartiness to it just adds more sour to the actual style of the sour beer. I want to say as far as the jelly flavor, I do pick up the blueberry. I think I get more of like strawberry, which is funny because it's not, there's no strawberry, but I do pick up a much more sweeter strawberry type of smell more than I do the blackberry. There's supposed to be blackberry uh, notes in there as well. Actually, no, sorry, I take that back. I do pick up the blackberry. I forget that blackberries have like this very like bitterness to it. That's probably where that's coming from. It does have a bitterness to it, but it's a very soft, fruity kind of bitter. And then you also get a little extra sweetness from the peanut buttery uh, flavor in there as well. And then to close it right off, you get that weedy uh, bread flavor in there as well. So you get the whole package. You get the jam, you get the bread, and you get the peanut butter. You taste what you pay for on this one. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. And that is exactly, like I said, what you get in here. Not your average peanut butter and jelly. This is an adult peanut butter and jelly in liquid form, right? Or PBJS, peanut butter and jelly sour. Well, that about does it for the tasting, don't you think? We did the smell, we did the tasting, and like I mentioned, you get everything that you pick up in the smell, maybe a little bit even more extra in the taste. And what do you say we finish off this video the way that we do here at Booze and Chill, where I give you my last words on the drink, and we call those words the final thoughts. <laughs> So the peanut butter and jelly squeeze sour from Prairie Brewery. I have to give a shout out to Prairie Brewery for inventing such a very rare and very tasty soury beverage. You gotta give these shout outs to these breweries, man, for doing such hard work and such very experimental work at that. It's definitely something you will whip out to show off to your friends. But as far as killing an entire six pack of this, um, I'm not sure about that one. Unless you're that type of person who does not mind the sourness just constantly continuing on in your palate, in which case you are you're just fucking weird. But to continuously be drinking this, mm, probably probably not. I mean, the sour is good, the flavors are good, but the sourness at some point is going to get to you. So if you do find yourself buying the PB and J squeeze, you'll probably find yourself drinking this every once in a while. Because again, the sourness is, it's, it's, it's there. It, trust me, it's a sour beer. So just take it easy on it and just really just sit down and admire the color and just sip it slowly and you'll, ju you'll be just fine. What would I pair this bad boy with? As far as food, damn, like, that one's a tricky one because it's, it's like a dessert beverage, but it's also sour. So it's kind of hard to point out what would it go good with. But if you guys just so happen to run into this and buy it and pair food with it, let me know down in the comments below, guys. I would love to know what will go good with a peanut butter and jelly sour beer. And that about ends today's review, guys. So I want to thank you for stopping by checking out the channel. Like I said, leave it in the comments below if you are planning on trying this out sometime soon. And if you did enjoy today's video, please PB and J squeeze the shit out of that like button right down below. It really helps out the channel a lot. Much appreciated. And that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I will see you in the next one. And remember, if you keep watching, I'm going to keep drinking. Cheers, guys.